Hello and welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. This WWE 2K23 video shows you how to get all the achievements and trophies that you can get in my GM mode. Very easy but a bit of a grind and a chore to do and you're looking at between 7 to 9 hours and this video will detail you on the best and quickest way to do this. The first thing you should know is that you don't have to play against the AI. You can control all the brands yourself nor does it require you to play on multiple profiles. It's all done with one profile one controller and the slammy award achievements will count the four people different slammies so you will get it on the third season and the achievement for getting first in three seasons as well so pick four players at least one human and you choose whether you want to make things easier or go up against the AI After you choose all four players, if you are playing against the AI, set the difficulty to easy. Set the game difficulty easy, so you have to pick less matches. Set the budget as much as it goes, and you can set auto draft to on, so the computer picks your wrestlers for you. But it's best to pick yourself, and then you can manipulate the other players' picks if they are controlled by you. I would recommend to pick at least four male and four female wrestlers. Make sure you pick an equal amount of faces represented by the green face, and heels represented by the red faces and for the face and heels to be different fighting styles for example cruiserweights versus giants gets a boost in the ratings and when you are picking wrestlers it will show you in your selection in green if they match up specialists are good to work with all fighting styles with a smaller boost in the ratings and if you are picking your opponent pick all the same type of wrestlers this will give you a chance for that slammy award for example picking all giants possible will get a slammy for having the most giants. Also, they will get less ratings. I would try to leave a million in the budget so you can buy a couple of legends later. At the start, you will be asked to assign your main championships to any male and female wrestler. So assign them to your most popular wrestler and it will add 10 popularity. And the more popular a superstar is, the better the ratings. Also, the game doesn't tell you, but when you make any tag matches, you can make it into a tag team championship match. Wrestlers can get injured if they lose all their stamina and will be off for a set number of weeks and lose morale. If you notice a wrestler with low stamina, don't put them on matches or use or buy power cards that helps with resting. I honestly never needed to keep an eye on injuries. If they get injured, then that's fine. And sometimes you might have to hire more wrestlers to complement your roster while they are injured. There is an achievement for choosing all match types in a single season. Choosing a single tag, triple threat or fatal four way does not affect the achievements. It's the second option of match type, which there are 12 different match types. Normal, tables, false count anywhere, extreme rules, TLC, hell in a cell, iron man, last man standing, submission, tornado tag, steel cage and backstage brawl. You can get this achievement in four weeks with three different match types every week. On the second week, I would buy one or two legends to get more of a ratings boost. <laughs> You have to do 25 weeks to complete a season. Every fifth week is a pay-per-view. You have to be first place after the third season. Will roughly take you three to four hours to complete. If you are playing against the AI, the time will double. For the first half of the season, I would recommend for you to set the matches yourself to make sure you get ahead with the ratings. And then you can mostly order your own matches, but I still would do commissioner goals and completing wrestler requests. Every now and again, wrestlers will ask for top shots or promos or in a certain match. And if you complete the request, the morale would go up. And if you don't, it will go down. Wrestlers with low morale will either quit or demand more money to stay. Every week, put a good match as the first match and last match and an average match in the middle. 
If you need more ratings, put a backstage brawl match, and in your promo section, choose charity, which will cost 10k, but gives you a small boost in ratings. If you find yourself needing money, then choose advertising. Remember, you can check the commissioner's goal and wrestler's request by pressing the GM assistant. The button is shown at the bottom. And if you're playing as the other GMs, then just keep skipping the text messages. The majority will pick the negative choice, decreasing the morale as the further on the season lasts. The more wrestlers will leave the brand and they will never get better ratings and will have to use randomly created wrestlers. Every week, make sure you use any power cards that you got. There is no reason to save them. If you got plenty of money, then use the best show logistics you got. The further on in the season and multiple seasons, you can buy bigger and better ones that will help improve your ratings. So every week after doing your matches, you will have to get into the rhythm in clicking the right analog stick on the other GM's matches for auto, and then go straight to finish, no using power cards, no show logistics. Do it for the other three, and then simulate all shows to start a new week.
pay-per-views has more matches, and the last one in the season, which is WrestleMania, has the most matches. Put all your titles on the line, make sure all the rivalries are on, and pick all different match types. It will be costly, but you should have plenty of money, and you'll get the most ratings on the pay-per-view. Then repeat everything for four more pay-per-views, about halfway, or when you're more comfortable and ahead with the ratings, you can all fill your matches and just slightly edit for commissioner goals and wrestler requests. And at the end of the season, you will get an achievement for completing a season with four brands and get your first four Slammy Awards. Each brand will be awarded a Slammy every season, and there is a lot of Slammys that you can win for all sorts of reasons, having the most of a match type, certain category of wrestlers, even average height of wrestlers. So all four brands will get one every year, and because there are so many different ones, more than likely they will all be different, and will count towards the winning 10 Slammys achievement or trophy. You will unlock this at the end of the third season.
The final achievement of trophy in this mode is to win one season of each brand. Start a new file and don't delete the previous files and pick the next brands you want to play. I picked Raw for the three season win, so that's one, five to go. You can do this in about an hour for each brand. You can auto everything and apply everything you learned from the three season playthrough. Only pick one human player so it goes quicker and it might be close but being the only brand making sure you are putting on the best matches and having a good lineup while the other brands you are playing poorly on purpose. Apart from maybe the first few weeks you will always be ahead of the ratings. If you like this video subscribe to my channel where there are more wrestling game videos. Also the channel has achievement and trophy guides, walkthroughs and secrets and tips from the latest releases to classic retro games. Thanks for watching.